Cause I'm coming for their next Don't do one going the distance Promise you don't wanna miss this Tell me this shit is fictitious Till I flipped it and these bitches So high, high Jokes on you I just smile and I laugh As I roll on through I be cooler than I cool What's going on guys, it's Garrett, and today I'm bringing you guys a video on how to create your very own logo in Photoshop CC. So basically, this is my second time doing this. I just recorded it, and I guess I didn't let it process enough, and I just closed out of the software. Oops. But, um, I want to be showing you guys how to make this. We're pretty much going to be starting from a drawing like this one. Oops. And then we're going to be pretty much ending up with that. You guys see that transformation so uh, it's really easy to do actually it's not that hard so uh, what do you want to do pretty much starting off this before I even get into the tutorial you guys are going to need your very own drawn logo so that's the tie the number one thing is pretty much getting your own drawn logo so we get some draws on computer paper sketch paper uh, graph paper I usually drawing them on graph paper just because everything is more spaced out for you already and it's already uh, even blocked out so uh, probably I definitely recommend getting graph paper for this but uh, it doesn't you're not really required to use it so uh, this is pretty much really easy to do. It's going to be a Photoshop document, not an AI file. So pretty much keep that in mind when you're making this. You guys will not be able to enlarge it without it losing opacity or not losing uh, quality. So uh, to start this off, what I did is I just pretty much imported my... I imported my... Get out of here. My logo into Photoshop. I just took a picture of it and I just imported it into Photoshop on a 1920 by 1080 space. And then uh, I pretty much just took rulers and I lined everything up. I'll put them on. I took rulers and I lined up the important parts of this just like that. Just so I know how to space everything out and what to do. So uh, I'm going to delete most of this stuff because I don't really want to look at it. I just did it. So uh, to pretty much start this off. Oh, it's a lot of hidden junk. What's that? I don't want that either. I don't want these two. Alright, so to pretty much start this off, what you want to do is just make a new layer and kind of study your logo and see how everything's made. So uh, I pretty much made this before, obviously, so I know what I'm doing, but I can pretty much tell that the beginning part, the uh, whole entire front is going to be a rectangle cut into pieces. So that's how you start off. You're going to pretty much start off by space by space and just take this rectangle and just fill up this whole entire area. Just like that. And then just zoom in, make sure it's to the rulers it's not past the rulers because if it's past the rulers then you're gonna have a hard time so everything's lined up correctly so now if i lower the opacity and zoom in a bit i can tell that the next part is going to be a huge circle that pretty much takes up this block itself so you guys can tell that i already lined out where my stuff ends and starts so i'm going to be taking a circle probably the same color white and going from one corner holding shift and going to the next corner but I'm gonna go to ruler to ruler just cause I know everything and how it's spaced out. Oh, excuse me, make a new layer. Cause if you guys are making these vector Im vector uh, shapes, you guys are going to be making, you need to be making uh, new layers. So you can pretty much just take that, make it white and then rasterize this rectangle right here. Cause you guys are gonna need to be taking stuff out. So I can't have this block right here still stay. So I'm gonna pretty much take my polygon tool and just cut this out. And then put the opacity up on that rectangle again. And then zoom out and make sure I'm doing this right. Which I am. Of course I am. Not to be cocky. But um, now that I have that, I'm going to be taking my rectangle and my circle and lowering the opacity. And kind of just study this some more. So I'm working from the bottom up, as you guys can tell. Because I'm not a really fan of working from top to bottom. Just because for logos, it's kind of weird. You need to build your foundation up and go uh, to the top of this last. So I need to do this kind of border cut. So there's two ways to do this. I'll show you guys both ways. So uh, you can pretty much make these both the same, uh, both 100% opacity. And then I'm going to be making this ellipse a little bit grayer. And then I'm going to go to uh, right click, blending options, and make a stroke. But I'm going to make this stroke black and put it on the outside. And then I'm going to take my rulers up again. And this is where my uh, rulers should end my uh, stroke. And then I'll put it here. So you guys have... Let me 28. No, oh, 26, 23. Yeah, 23 is good. And uh, pretty much put that there. Duplicate this. And I'm going to be taking this eye right here. You see this effects and there's a little eye. Just click that eye and click this arrow up. And then make a new layer and rasterize these two. Just so uh, you have that. And then pretty much just take this and then delete it off your rectangle. <coughs> like that. Actually, hide this first and then delete it. But 
If you guys do that, you guys can obviously tell that this is not a pretty smooth cut. It's kind of like a bouncy. It's like goes like that, and it's like shaky like that. So I can just hit Control Z, and I'll go back to the way I like doing it. So the way I'm more fond of doing it is if I make my uh, rectangle back to white or my circle back to white, make a new one, and then below it make it black, and just hitting Control T, holding Shift, and just make it bigger, and kind of just center this again. Make it bigger. Make it bigger. Do and center it. And you got that. And then what I do is hold Control T on this, and then just delete it off the rectangle. And then you guys have such a more even cut, so it's not all wobbly. So if you guys just take away that picture now, the image that you're tracing, it obviously looks a lot a lot like the logo that we're gonna be making it's uh it's starting to come together you guys probably can't see it but i can totally see what's going on so uh the next thing you want to do is pretty much work with your insides before you go to the top corners because this is not a very complex logo this is kind of a basic logo so um i pull up my rulers again i can pretty much tell on how to do this so i'm gonna be taking a ruler actually i'm not i don't even need a ruler but uh what i'm gonna do is make a new layer and then take a black rectangle and just through the middle like that let's put it right about here so you have that so the next step you want to do is on the same kind of rectangle 2 right mine says rectangle 2 it, um, the same layer you just did that rectangle on oops no, you don't not yet you want to zoom in first because you want to make sure these are the same size of rulers make sure everything's the same size as the rulers as I said before just because everything's usually evened out with the rulers and then on the same layer just make that a uh, circle and you can pretty much move that, whatever you please, but uh, I think this is good, so keep those rulers on. And you can pretty much just take it wherever you want. I think right here is a pretty good spot. Hold control and highlight. What is going on? Yeah, there you go. Highlight all this rectangle and then delete it off the rectangle square. So now if I take it away, deletes it there, and delete it off your lips. So you have to rasterize your lips, delete it there. Take it away, and it's gone. So if I hit my control H and hide that image, my logo is right there. So that's pretty much the step where everything kind of folds into each other. The, it starts becoming a U, the whole entire U starts coming together. So next thing you wanna do is just pretty much Take these and just throw the opacity up to 100%. Put these rulers back on that you made before, and then go to your corners or go to wherever your next is on your logo is. So uh, while you guys are watching this, I'm actually only seven minutes into this. You guys really want to watch this first before you guys start going into this because you're gonna have no idea what you're doing because we're gonna be using totally different logos. But um, next step you want to do is pretty much make a new layer and then start working with the next side. So you can work from side to side. So I'm gonna be working from uh this the right side first because I'm ready and I just find it more easier. So I'm gonna be making a rectangle to make this corner. Make a new logo or make a new layer, excuse me. Make an ellipse tool that's black and just that covers the uh it covers that. So it doesn't really have to be any size specifically, it just covers what we're trying to get out. So you're gonna do that and then you can just rasterize this rectangle and just delete the uh, circle out of it. So you have that, and then the cool thing about that, you can just hit control J on that corner piece, flip horizontally and put on that side take away those rulers and hide that image background and you got your logo fascinating right so we're not done yet obviously we're not done yet but um the next step you can do is just merge all these layers that include your logo so you just pretty much have this take it duplicate it and move it over to the side so uh put these side by side for a certain reason and then click the one of them top one's fine right click excuse me don't go right click go to fill Put that to zero right click go to blending options go to stroke and put a stroke on the inside on let's just say eight and make the color white and look at that look how nice that stroke looks on this logo look, like i mean this logo isn't bad i don't really mind it but that stroke on this logo just looks really nice it looks so much more techy and cool and kind of professional so uh, to make sure that you guys have that, what you can do is make a new layer, take a brush on like any colors, put red, and just kind of 
make sure you can there's no background on it because if there's a fill on it like if I put a fill on the uh, one it just goes there back so make sure the fill is on zero oops make sure the fill is on zero make a new layer and then merge these two so you guys can't really mess with this and label this logo so uh, I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna still work with this the cool thing about these logos and uh, Photoshop making these in Photoshop is you guys can just pretty much customize them any way you want right away So I'm gonna be showing you guys a little cool thing to customize them with so on Google if you type in Samsung wallpapers This should show up. It's kind of like a geometric uh, Low poly wallpaper and just kind of paste it in hold alt and just kind of clip a like, clip mask onto it like making a clipping mask onto this and you guys can pretty much just take this and just put it wherever you want and it really creates a cool effect on uh, this logo so I'm gonna put that there. So you guys can just put that there and uh, really mess with it. I keep zooming in, zooming out for some reason. I wanna center this, that's what I was trying to work on. And then you guys can just make a new layer under this with a pretty much a bigger brush, about 500 size, low opacity or hardness zero. And kind of just click around and lower the opacity to about like the tens or twenties. And you pretty much have your logo. So uh, this is actually really easy to do. It's not very hard to do. It only took about 10 minutes to do. It's not that hard. And uh, the only thing, the hardest part probably about this is drawing on it and uh, spacing out your stuff. So when you're drawing on it, let's just say you're drawing a logo. Wrong one. You're drawing a logo. Let me zoom out on this one. Now I'll spin it to you guys. You want to start off with sketching out everything. So just sketch out a block and then start working with circles. Like you can pretty much draw out this block right here. It's kind of like make a little lines and then draw a circle and then uh pretty much just draw another circle above it to take out the stroke and everything like that just because you don't want to uh ruin this by excuse me by making everything uneven and that's the, pretty much the hardest part when clients uh, want to buy a logo and they draw themselves i have to redraw them because they pretty much draw it so everything is not very even like so obviously you guys can tell this is not even this side and this side but i pretty much drew it so i can imagine it being even and then i kind of worked with it myself so uh, that's pretty much the hard part. That's why I like using graph paper a lot. So if you guys have graph paper, you guys can go out and buy some. Definitely go buy like a big, I don't know, a booklet of graph paper. I have a black book, I call it, for uh, just filled with graph paper that I draw most of my logos on. I did this actually in class, I draw this logo for my friend. So uh, yeah. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's not very hard to do. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. Also, if you guys are going to want a tutorial on how to draw your own logos and how to get ideas, please let me know because that is probably the number one thing that people might want to see. So uh, that's about it. Last thing I want to talk about is Tutorial Hub, and uh, we are launching in eight days. It is the 22nd right now of November. The 30th we will be launching. It's going to be a Monday, and then it's going to be a super hyped up. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely go check out Tutorial Hub. It's going to be a really big thing. If you guys want to submit your own tutorials, uh, there's a need to form in the About Me section of that. But I don't want to talk too much about this, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments below and or on Skype, and I'll definitely help you out with that. But uh, that's about it, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.